Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well we've been putting together this little e-commerce site using the free Elementor and we had a question and the question was how do I add an add to cart button that shows a quantity so they can add four, five, three, however many of the product to their cart. And it also said, how do I hand code it? Well, if you want to hand code it, you need to be able to write a bit of PHP and probably a bit of Ajax. And that goes well beyond the scope of what I like to teach on this site. But there is an easy workaround. And I've done one here. So we've got a laptop and it's got a quantity button and an add to cart button. Simply put in the quantity that you need, hit the add to cart. And you can go and view your cart. And there we go, we've got three of them in our cart. And it's pretty easy to do. And to do this today, we're going to use a little bit of CSS coding, but the rest of it's pretty straightforward. We use a short code. We're going to use a simple plugin, it's absolutely free. It's called Enhanced Ajax Add to Cart for WooCommerce. I'll put the link below this video, you can download it. So once you've got it downloaded, go ahead and install and activate it as a plugin. And let's go back to our dashboard. Once you've got it installed, it's not going to appear anywhere in your menu here. At least I don't see it there. And there's not much you do with it. And there it is activated. Just add new like any other plugin, add new and activate it. But you want to read the description here and they've got a bunch of short codes that you can use in there just have a look through and we want one this is the one i used and it'll work for variations as well if you read the documentation so let's go ahead and build one so if we go back to our page let's return to our page here in fact i've got the page open right here so I've got a, a section with a row with two columns in it. First thing I want to do is I want to show what product I'm actually selling. So let's go and add an image of the product that we want to sell. So I'll plot that one in there. Choose the image. I'll just use this one. Okay, next we want to put a price in, tell them how much it costs. And obviously if it's a variable product, you say $7.99 to $8.99 or whatever it is. And I'll just use a heading for that. And we'll put in a fictitious price here. I have no idea what I charge for this, but we'll just put in any old price. I'll use the same as I did before, I guess, $7.99. That's fine. Let's put it in the middle. And I'll just make it a blue color or whatever color you like to make yours. There we go. And of course you can link these. If you want to link these, you can do so by putting a link in there. If you want to link them to the product page, same with the image, they'll have a link you can put in with the product page. If we click on the link on the image here, there's the link there. Custom URL or a media file. Custom URL and you can take them to your product if you wish. Okay, now comes the fun part. We now got to add a text module, text editor right here, just below for our button. Before I do that, I'm going to disable my CSS that I wrote to, to get my buttons the same color as my existing buttons. So I'm simply going to comment this out. If you put a forward slash and a star, and then at the end of whatever it is you want to comment out, put a star and a forward slash back the other way around anything within that will not be read as code so let's publish that and you won't see it right now but when I refresh this page you'll see those buttons don't match anymore okay so let's go back here now we need to put in the short code in this text module that we want to use and like I say go through the documentation I'm using this one right here I believe 
But as I'm not using a variable product, I'm just going to paste it into a little notepad here. I'm not using a variable product, so I'm going to get rid of the variation in there and the number by it. Don't want to display a title. And where it says product equal 3312, I've got to find my actual product. So if we go to our dashboard, to our products, and decide which product this is or which product we want to add the button to. And I want to keep it simple. Let's just use this one. That's 52. That's the same one as I did before. If you hover over the name, it'll give you the ID 97, 107, 119. So now we can go back. And with my notepad, it was product 52 that I wanted to put in there. Control C to copy and let's paste it in our little text module here. There we go. And as is quite often the case with short codes, sometimes they don't show up on the, when you're actually in the builder. But the important thing is that they do show up on the front end. And this is common to a lot of builders, Beaver Builder, Divi, etc. So now let's take a look. We'll update and preview our changes. And let's roll on down and see what we've got. There we go. And as you can see, it's kind of put its own little style in there. So I mean that's going to work and everything but I want the button perhaps to be over just slightly a bit to the right. I want to leave enough for the view cart pop up to pop up there. And I want it to look the same as my other buttons which are red and when I hover over them they turn to blue. So let's fix that. Let's see what this button's called. And I'll put any CSS I write below the video today so you don't have to copy it while I'm doing it. So let's inspect this. I'm using Google Chrome here and I just right clicked and hit inspect to get the inspector tools up. Well, let's have a look. I think it's this one here. Simple add to cart button. That looks like it's highlighting it. Now then, what do I want it to do? I want the background color to be a regular red. Background red. Great. And I think actual font size looks all right. So that's pretty much all I want to do. Let's grab this simple add to cart button. So I'm going to double click on it right here to let highlights. I just want the first class right there, simple add to cart button. I'm going to copy that. Let's go to our customizer. Now, for those of you that don't know, customizer all themes have them as far as I know go down to appearance and you'll find customize and once that opens up at the bottom you'll find an additional CSS here it is when you first open it most of them have additional CSS some will say custom CSS okay well let's go down so we can take a look at what we're editing here and there we are right there and okay let's put our class in Now, because it's a class, it has to have a period in front of it. Now, we'll paste that class that we copied in there. And we'll see background red. What else do we want? That's OK. I want to force the font size to be 16 pixels. This one's too big right there. So let's give it a font size. of 16 picks which I think was the same as my last one that's better they both look the same there now let's create a hover state when I hover over my buttons I like to have them blue I think they were up here yeah so let's copy this control C drop down a couple paste it in there now just after the N on button, I'm going to put colon and then the word hover. No spaces in between 
the colon and the word hover or the n in the colon if you put a space there it won't work so background we want that to be blue we can delete the font size because that's not changed unless you want to have a bigger font or smaller font when it hovers let's see if that's going to work yeah that's fine but a little bit quick so let's slow that down let's make it take perhaps a second to change from red to blue with a CSS coding going on here so that's transition duration and let's say one second now we won't see that transition duration here on the back end but we will on the front end because it'll still do it instantly there and when it hovers when we hover on that link I don't want that little line underneath so that would be text decoration and that's only when we hover on it we see that so we'll go into the hover here text decoration colon none there we go that's got rid of that line for us okay I want to scoot this over to the right a bit we can do that within the module itself we should be pretty much good to go I'm just wondering why this one's taller than this one so let's go back to our page we'll publish our CSS changes there and let's go back to our page I'm going to scoot this one over by 50 I guess let's have a look here I'm just going to look at this one I'm just wondering why they're different stages oh I see I've got margins and paddings on that first one that's why it's in a different one let's go into this one and I'll go over to the advanced and I want to push it over a bit so I'm going to use a bit of padding on the left I'm going to push it over by just 50 pixels or so so I'm going to hit the chain because I don't want to put it everywhere if you leave that chain linked it'll do all four of these at once I just want to affect the left so let's make that 50 do a little bit more than that perhaps you can increment up with the little arrows there get it right under my 799 there even it's great and I guess I could scoot it down and be in line with that button so to do that we'll use a bit of margin on the top again I'll uncheck that and let's guess at 30 that's a little bit too much not far out though so we'll just take it down until we're happy with it that looks about right okay we should be good to go let's update let's preview our changes get rid of our inspector now I just needed that to get the class name before we add it to the cart let's go to the cart and just make sure it's empty we'll empty out the contents in there because the product that I put in there isn't that desktop that we saw we'll get rid of that good I think it may be actually that same laptop that I had on the left so go down and let's add two of these let's add three of them for fun feeling rich today add to cart let's go ahead and view our cart there we go we got three of them in there 2250 all ready to check out so there's how to add an add to cart button with an incremental number for you I hope that answered your question and like I say there's plenty of different other options in there read this documentation and you can do pretty much anything you want to with these buttons so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day.